want you all to leave me alone! Our shield kit. The crew must be nearby. Voids pull, but it's not too late. This is Ray. Can any Void Runners hear me? I'm looking at the Star Seed. It's intact but not operational. Scanning for conduits. Got a reading on the Sid Note at the base. Let's turn it on. Wait, what's that? ran into some kind of massive serpent anomaly. Watch yourselves! See if my boosters still work. Centralized Yadavite database awaiting input. Um, Sid? It's Ray. What happened to you? Where's the team? We are Sid. Systems offline. Anomalous impediments detected. Sending locations data to your multi tool. There's no way I can activate the Star Seed without Sid. Better scan for these anomalies and hope there's a way to remove the interference.
shields are full. For now. Must be one of those anomalies. Better clear it out. It's hot. What the hell is it? interference. I could grapple up there if I get close enough. Gotta find a way. 
way to that next weak point. I can grapple a longer distance if I activate my time slip gear. Runner cash. Please tell me the logs are intact.
Vanessa made it mad. Here goes nothing. Detected insufficient network connection. Remove interfering anomalous signals from area. someone once, but no longer. Now I am merely an echo. I don't have time for this. How do I get out of here? I have heard that question so many times before. Useless as ever. That's enough! Send me back or get out of my way! I'm not in your way. The only thing standing between you and your Precious star seed. Remnants. Remnants of lost hope. Nothing more. That remnant nearly killed me. But I won't let that stop me from saving my people. Yes, yes. You need to fix everything. Ever the hero. I grow tired of this.
You made it. Are you all right? Sid. I'm not sure. I might be seeing things. The Ultra Void is known to have deleterious effects on biotic life forms. And it seems to have had quite an effect on us as well. We spent a very uncomfortable amount of time in safe mode. I'm just glad you're back online. Can you contact the rest of the Void Runners now that the interference is gone? Hmm. We cannot connect to Starseed conduits in any other sectors. Their signals must also be blocked by those anomalies. The remnants. Ah, remnants. Yes. If you remove these remnants, our network communication should resume, and we will be able to activate the Starseed, collapse the Ultra Void, and thereby release our planet from its perilous gravitational pull. If the conduits are already set up, then the other Void Runners must have made it. We hope so too, Ray. We wish we could be more helpful, but our memories appear to be incomplete. All right, Sid. I'll reconnect with the other Runners and reactivate your notes. Be careful, Ray. We're in this together. We'll help however we can. Thanks, Sid. I'll see you around. Wait, Ray. You look broken. Your shields appear to be damaged. Thankfully, we can synthesize plasma into new power cells, which will restore some functionality to your shield array. I found a Void Runner log. It sounds like they crash landed. No sign of the team. We're sorry, Ray. We're as mystified as you are. If you can retrieve more of their logs, it may help defragment our memory cells. I've been radioing my ship, but haven't had any response. Can you hail the XR Polaris? Hmm. It appears the remnants are blocking our signal. We will keep monitoring that wavelength in case a signal gets through. Finished installation. How can we help you? We've always got time for our favorite Void Runner. How much do you remember about our mission? The Ultra Void is pulling our planet into its orbit. We need to activate the Starseed in order to collapse the Ultra Void, rendering it inert. I'm glad you didn't lose all your memory, Sid. I'm glad you remember me. Of course we do. Do you have any questions about our mission? Sid, remind me how we were able to enter a black hole. With Voidtech, of course. We Void Runners are among the very few who have managed to harness and experiment with the properties of void energy. By combining protons and antiprotons in a controlled way, we are able to produce massive amounts of energy. This energy can be used for scanning, shielding, attacking, or even as fuel for your grab boosters. Without it, you would have been crushed to death. Oh, lovely. Very comforting, Sid. How many people are still on our home planet? Our world has attempted to evacuate as many people as it could. But most citizens do not own spacecraft capable of leaving the planet's orbit. In addition, many of our larger ships were already off-planet, exploring parts of the galaxy unknown. We don't know exactly how many, but a substantial percentage of our planet's population is still there, trapped. Is there any other way to stop this? There were many proposed solutions, but our planet's nations and governments debated the best course of action, while we slipped further and further into the pull of the Ultra Void. Ultimately, a solution could not be agreed upon, and the debate only led to more division and bloodshed. That's why the Void Runners took it upon themselves to solve this problem in their own unorthodox way. Fill me in on the history of Void Tech. The Void Runners unearthed an ancient artifact while exploring deep beneath our planet's crest. We don't fully understand who or what originally made it, but we have adapted it for our needs. Its discovery paved the way for the creation of the Star Seed. The capabilities of Void Tech are immeasurable. It can control particles that exist and don't exist at the same time. 
Such entanglement is still beyond the understanding of traditional science. But we've found it quite practical as a tool to move swiftly through the hazards of space, and to contain and utilize great amounts of energy. What do you know about the remnants? Not much. But we were able to unscramble some of our data readings from your encounters with them. Did you get a temperature reading on them? They seem to have an extremely variable temperature. In a docile state, it is roughly 310 degrees Velkin. However, they can rapidly increase their temperatures. We are not sure exactly how high. But based on our energy readings, temperatures can approach 10,000 degrees Velkin. Please be careful. If you stay in contact with one for too long, you might evaporate. Why are they interrupting your signal? I'm not entirely sure, but they emit a powerful chaotic signal that's completely scrambling our communications. If they are attempting to communicate, they are doing it in a highly disordered way. Do they have any weaknesses? The remnants seem to be driven by a heavily fortified primary energy source. Multi-tool scans show a complex nervous system attached to the primary energy core. Attacking certain nerve endings causes the energy core to be exposed. How do I find these weak points? Your multi-tool has been tuned to detect higher concentrations of the remnant's energy, as well as that energy's flow through its nervous system. It will do its best to project the locations of exposed nerves and energy on a remnant. Actually, I need something else. See you, Sid. on the other side. Architecture. They vanished over a hundred years ago. I guess this is what happened to them. forms here are pretty messed up.
Tech. One of the runners must have come this way. That could come in handy. Anomaly down. Huh? Its weak spot is exposed. I might be able to cut through it. to time slip to attack these creatures from a distance.
doesn't wash off. Are you okay? What happened here? I did it. To protect them. I'm sure you did whatever you could. Are you alone? Who? Uh, who's there? I just need to find him. I need him to forgive me. Who are you looking for? He's okay. Safe. Just hiding. Maybe in our apartment, or the clock tower. Not the Iron Root. No, not there. Please, don't be there. She's too far gone. Maybe whoever she's looking for can tell me more about what happened. Have you seen any Void Runners? Anyone who looks like me? Runners? You can't run from them. I thought it was the only way to save us. I'm sorry. She's not all there. Better keep moving. Temple priests are saying there are too many stars in the sky, and now we should prepare for famine. The stars seem to get bigger every night, and they glow a brilliant pink. I like them. So we're going down to Claus. I've got to say, critical systems offline. Repair network to resume functionality. Anomalous power sources detected. Sending location data to your multi-tool. Network interference detected. Loading emergency services. I'll get you back online, Sid.
Interference detected. Loading emergency service. Business finished and still how can we help you? I'll get you back online, Sid. survives this place except there is one lost soul the Verukia woman wandering glassy-eyed among the dead but the horrors that befell her people look to have happened before her planet was pulled into the ultra void makes me wonder is this place just a natural disaster or does it attract death all oh, this sorrow is like a calling and the void answered back. But our people, they done nothing to deserve this. We have no business being here. We do our job and this place spits everything back out like it was never here to begin with. Right, pup? <laughs> We got this, Irving. We'll do our job. <laughs> 